Uh, hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, uh, neuclear infection, and uh, which is medically known as uh, neuclear uh, foray infection. And uh, another name used is the brain-eating amoeba. Now, neuclear foray uh, is an amoeba that is common throughout the world and lives in soil and fresh water. Now, when the conditions are favorable, uh, and mostly in, in summertime, you know, it multiplies rapidly. And uh, uh, neuclear foray causes infection when water-containing amoeba forcefully enters the nose. And uh, this can occur throughout the uh, recreational swimming, jumping, diving, or uh, uh, during sports like water skiing, you know. Now, uh, natty parts are the nasal rising, or, uh, that r r kind of uh, nasal rinsing, you know. Uh, with unboiled tap water has also caused the disease, and uh, swallowing contaminated water does not cause disease, you know. The amoeba consumes and digests its uh, way into the brain, you know, uh, and uh, causing primary amoebic meningoencephalitis, uh, you know. Now, Nigleria flora is often called the brain-eating amoeba, and uh, which is unfortunately uh, uh, it's accurate, in fact, you know, fairly accurate. Now, primary amoebic meningocephalitis, also known as PAM, uh, is commonly reported, but it has uh, a 99% fatality rate. And it usually affects the young and uh, active healthy people, you know. And uh, uh, as of the August 2016, 40 cases have been reported in the United States uh, since uh, 2006, you know, uh, up to 8 per year. Now, most cases have been reported in the southern states uh, um, and uh, with increasing, uh, like, uh, uh, temperature trends, you know. And now, Nagleria habitat is expanding and more cases uh, may occur in unexpected places. And the people with the PM have a rapidly progressive illness uh, with fever, with headache, uh, stiff neck, and uh, finally coma and death, you know. Now, it looks uh, no different than the bacterial or the viral meningitis, you know, and because bacterial meningitis is common, uh, testing and the treatment routinely focuses on the bacteria, you know. Uh, but the PM may look like uh, bacterial meningitis uh, without the bacteria, and the doctors may not know why antibiotics are not working, you know, and why the antibiotics are failing. And the most important uh, uh, clue is exposure to warm fresh water within the prior two weeks and uh, the doctors should always ask uh, about uh, their activities in the last two weeks you know and if the patient has gone to the water sports and uh, to the areas uh, you know so then she should they, uh, they should suspect you know and uh, the most important uh, like you know, Neglaria is easy to miss even uh, when the doctors are looking for it. And uh, like uh, bacterial meningitis, diagnosis requires a spinal tab, uh, the lumbar puncture test, you know, where the spinal fluid is taken with the syringe and then tested under the microscope, you know. Now the spinal fluid must uh, be examined uh, specifically for the amoeba, you know. And uh, uh, this can be hard to detect without uh, highly specialized tests. Uh, which is not available in more most of the hospitals, you know. And then once diagnosed, then the treatment uh, of choice is uh, intravenous uh, uh, and B uh, with a combination of the 
antimicrobials, you know. Uh, the prognosis is not prognosis is not good, you know, so as it is very aggressive disease, you know. And uh, then the, uh, the treatment should be started uh, as soon as possible, you know, uh, without any delay. And uh, an infectious disease doctor should be consulted immediately, even if the diagnosis is only suspected, it's not confirmed, you know. And the prevention of uh, it is straightforward, uh, untreated uh, fresh water of any kind, especially during hot months or in hot springs should be kept out of the nose, you know. And uh, like uh, entering the water during these periods should be avoided and the head should be kept dry and above the water surface, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseaseintreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you and goodbye.